One of the easiest ways to set up a meeting is to do it through the calendar. So when in your emails, down at the bottom here, we have this calendar icon. If you click on that, that's going to bring you into your calendar. You can then choose a day and select new event. This will take you into a page to set this up. So give your event a name and then we've got a few options here. If you're doing an event with a group of staff, you may wish to invite those who you want at this meeting along there. And you do this just by typing in their email address or selecting from your drop down menu. If you're working with a group of pupils, at this point, I would not put any, any names into there, just leave it blank. Then set the time of your meeting. That's what's going to go out to anybody you've invited. And where it says add online meeting, we're going to select a Teams meeting. This meeting is now going to happen within Teams, but it's not going to be accessible within a single channel in Teams. It's going to be accessible through a link. Or if it's a member of staff that you've invited, it will be in their calendar to be able to access. Once you've set up your meeting, we want to set some of the options within it. So find your meeting in your calendar and double click on it. And from here, what we're going to do is we're looking for this bit down here, meeting options. I'm going to click on that and it'll open a new window. And what we want to do is we want to choose which of the people at this meeting are going to be able to present. So who can take over the screen, who can show things on that screen. And we can either choose to let specific people present. So anybody that you've invited as member of staff, you'll be able to choose them from a list. We can choose to let everybody present. This is what you might want to do if you are looking at a staff meeting and you want to be able to share across that. Or you can choose to have only yourself as the organiser able to present at this. Once you set those things, we're going to save that meeting. If you're accessing the meeting through the calendar in the Teams app rather than the browser version, you can just click on your meeting and select meeting options from the top here. And that will take you straight to the page to set up those meeting options in the same way. If somebody who you invited that meeting is looking to join it or you're set, starting this meeting up yourself, all you need to do is double click on that meeting and click join Teams meeting. If, however, what you're trying to do is share this meeting with, say, a group of pupils or somebody who's not been invited, what you need to do is click on the join Teams meeting in the same way. This will open up a new window. If you're just joining the meeting, it's your meeting, you can open it in your Teams app and open, or you, if you're going through your app, you'll be able to directly go to that. If you want to share it, what you're gonna do is you're going to look at this URL at this point and copy it. And you can share that whole URL with anybody that you want to be able to come into your meeting. If you're sharing this meeting with a group of pupils, I suggest not sharing the link until you are ready to start the meeting. Otherwise, they're going to be able to access that meeting before you're there to provide any moderation of what's going on in that meeting. So to share it, you can just share that link into the conversations. Now, it's a very, very long link. So what I would suggest doing is when you come into the conversations, 
click on this little A with the paintbrush next to it, the full formatting, and that gives you much, much more options within the actual sending of a message. Write your message and what I'd say is you can join the meeting by clicking the link and then paste in that link that you've got. As you can see that's really long, I mean we're looking at five lines here. So if you highlight that whole link and click on this button just here which says insert link. That enables you to choose some alternative text to display for that link. So by clearing that I just change it to text display here and insert and now you can just join the meeting by clicking the link and then they'll be able to just click on here which will take them into that meeting. When you're ready to run your meeting what I would do is in my calendar click on the meeting and join. And it's always a good plan to join with both your camera and your microphone muted, which you can then change when you're in. Click on join now, and this will take you into your meeting. Once you've started the meeting, this is the point when I'd suggest sharing the link with pupils, either just, just as you're about to go in or just after you've gone in. Once in the meeting, there's a few things that you can do. By just moving your mouse over, we can switch your camera on and off, your microphone on and off, and you can share your own desktop with anybody else who's there. We can also, by clicking on this one here with the two people, see the list of who is currently in this meeting. And as soon as you get the pupils joining, they will come under a list of participants. At that point, you get an option just up here that says mute all. This means that you can choose to mute everybody else who's in the conversation other than you, although they can unmute themselves. If that happens, it's worth, if you're in a big meeting, having somebody there just checking if people are unmuting themselves and you can hover over their little icon and remute participants at this point. Share your meeting for as long as you want and then at the end of the meeting if you click on these three dots and choose end meeting this will remove everybody from this meeting so you can end the meeting end the meeting for everybody who's there click on end and it's gone at that point i would suggest quickly going back into the team that you had sent the link in and deleting that post so just clicking on the post, the three dots and deleting it and that will prevent any pupils from being able to access that once you have actually left the meeting.